very interesting is going on that I didn't realize. It's a tube. This side kind of looks like the tiki head or I think the Easter Island head emoji. We have a face. I hope you can see it. I have like a little bit of a problem, but sometimes it comes in handy like right now. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am making a jacket inspired by this Kid Super kissing jacket. As you can tell, it's two people kissing and I saw it on TikTok. I think being worn by Wisdom Kane. I don't know if that's how you say his last name, but he's like a fashion icon on TikTok and I saw a video of his and I loved it and I decided that I wanted to make it. So today I am and I have a tutorial for you guys. <laughs> um, I really like this and it's a patchwork project because I save a lot of my scraps and so I have a lot of scraps that I don't really, I'm like waiting to use. So this is a great project if you also save some of your scraps and wanna do a patchwork project. Um, I like how it turned out, but I will say this is kind of, it was kind of challenging and took a while, but I think that it is worth it. So I hope that y'all guys like it. If you do, don't forget to like and subscribe, follow me on my social medias and let's get into it. Okay, in this week's video, I am making this kid super jacket, their kissing jacket. Um, so I actually saw a TikTok where Wisdom Kane, I don't know if that's his last name, but people were asking him to make an outfit styling like his most crazy pieces. And so for one of the jacket options, it was like this jacket and I'll put the TikTok up. And I saw it and I was like, I love this. So I'm gonna make it. So I'm going to be making this as a patchwork project and the last patchwork um, project I did was the Walter Van Buren Donk jacket. I will maybe post a photo <laughs> if I can find one, um, which is actually like my favorite project that I've ever made so far. Like I absolutely love that jacket, but that jacket took me like a month to make. It was really long, so I'm hoping it doesn't take me as long. Editing me here. Um... I was wrong. I don't know if this took me a month to make, but it was at least three weeks. I did get sick, but yeah, this took me a lot longer than I was expecting, so I was wrong. So I'm gonna do something similar that I did when I made that one, which is I'm gonna use a pattern, and I will show what pattern I will use in a second. Um, it's gonna be from Mood Patterns. Um, I guess it's technically Mood Fabrics, but they have online patterns that are free, and I'm using a pattern because I know the patchwork is gonna take a while, so I don't want there to also be a lot of time into designing the jacket but with this pattern I am going to alter the front pieces so they can resemble a face um, yeah so I'm going to get ready and print that pattern and put it together so I don't know if you have used an online pattern you usually print out all the pages there's like 50 pages you tape them all together and then you cut out the pattern so I'm going to get ready and do that. Okay the pattern I'm going to use is for the fennel coat on mood patterns and this is kind of what the sketch looks like. Obviously there's some things I'm not going to do like I'm not going to have um, the little ties and I'm not going to have the cuffs and also not need that fabric <laughs> but I felt like it would be the best base for what I'm going to do so I'm going to get ready and construct it. <laughs> Okay, I have the pattern printed out, so now I'm going to tape all the pages together and then I'm going to cut it out. Okay, so I cut out all of the pattern pieces and this is the front piece. So what I'm gonna do next is tape um, a little bit of paper along each side, like the front and the back, and then I'm gonna trace out what I want the jacket to look like to make the faces. And then afterwards, I'm going to copy the patterns onto more paper. I have, part of me is like, I should have just cut out a second <laughs> pattern. Um, and then I'm going to draw out what I want the faces like, to look like so I can, and then cut those pieces out. So then when I cut out like the actual patchwork pieces, it'll just be more, like I'll know more so what I'm doing. Okay, so also on the front piece, there are two different places to cut. So one side you're supposed to cut here and the other side you're supposed to cut here. So I'm gonna fold it here 
and then extend out because I don't want it to be, oh my gosh, please, it's like playing, <laughs> trying to play with the paper. I'm going to fold it here and cut both pieces, not here because I'm going to modify them to make the faces, but I'm start drawing the faces from there because I think one side is supposed to come over to the other and I think it would kind of be like very off-centered if I did it like that, so yeah. Okay, I modified the pattern. So this is the what will be the right side. We're gonna call it face two. And then the other side will be face one. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm going to cut out the pieces and cut out the lining. And so I'll cut out the pieces like face one side up, face two side up. But then when I do it for the lining, I'll cut it like face one side down, face two side down so that like I can sew them right sides together. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut out all the pieces. This is the fabric that I have. I'm gonna try to use as much of it as I can because it's really thick, but something very interesting is going on that I didn't realize. It's a tube. Like this is literally a circle or all connected. <laughs> all of this. <laughs> so I'm gonna cut that apart so it'll be easier to cut out the pattern and then I'm gonna cut out the pattern. Okay, I'm cutting out the, um, I'm transferring the pattern for the patchwork, but I just have to say that this side kind of looks like the tiki head, or I think the Easter Island head emoji for, yeah. Like, I think I'm, I'll put up one like right here, but I just feel like it looks like it. And I think that's really funny, but that is the nose and then that's the mouth. Um, hopefully it'll look more better once I actually do the patchwork, but yeah. Okay, I'm changing plans just a little bit. As I said, I was going to draw the patchwork for both of the front pieces on paper that I copied and cut them out. And you can't really see the pencil marks, but I drew a little bit. But this is a lot, like this <laughs> is a lot. And I do kind of wish that I had shortened it a little bit, but it's way too late for that. So what I'm going to do instead is just kind of freeform cut pieces and then once most of it's covered use some darker fabric to do the defining like the nose the lips the eyes the eyebrows speaking of fabric i went through all of my scraps and this is what i think i want to work with i separated them out into colors because i think i'm going to do kind of like a color scheme where like one side is one color scheme and then the other is the other but like mix in some of the others and have them like go around like that with like until the arms in the back. I don't really know. I'm just gonna wing it and see. So yeah, I have all of these sorted out and then I also have a specialty pile. So these two, well, these two piles are the specialty because they are fabrics that are like shiny or satin or like leather or whatever. Incorporating them normally would be a little weird. So I'm going to start just cutting out some pieces 
and doing a basting stitch and building from there. Okay, I cut out a few pieces to begin with, so now I'm gonna stitch them down, and then I think after I get more pieces, I'm gonna go over the edges that are exposed with a zigzag stitch. Okay, so I have just been placing some pieces on and if you can tell, I'm leaving some like, I'm leaving the openings on like the nose, the mouth, and the eye because I'm going to fill those in with like the contrasting colors that will be on the other side after I've done the like blue, green-ish color theme that's on this one. Okay, I finished like the patchwork, the blue-greenish patchwork. So now, as you can see, I pinned the eye and part of the lip down. So I'm gonna do those, the nose, the other part of the lip, and then the eyelashes and the eyebrow. We have a face. I hope you can see it. I mean, I can see it. <laughs> um, the mouth, the nose, the eye, so like the eyelash, eyelid, eyebrow. Also, the mouth is gonna be more defined, but I just like sewed um, over where it was for now. So now the next part is to do it all again for the other side. So I'm going to get ready and get started on that. And also, like I said, for the other side, I'm gonna swap the colors. So yeah, I have like all of the scraps. Um, sorted. Also, this is like not all the fabric scraps that I have. I have like a little bit of a problem, but sometimes it comes in handy, like right now. But yeah, I'm gonna use the pink, red, the yellows, and then also that lighter, like that lime green over there, and then mix it with like the um, cream and the browns, and then accent the eyes and the nose and the lips with the opposite colors. Okay, something that I'm gonna do, so I started the patchwork for the other side. I marked in the chalk, as you can see, where the eyes and the mouth and the nose will be, so I can make sure that I'm leaving a little bit of space. Like, some of the pieces are gonna go over others, and that's fine, but just so I can be aware of, like, where I wanna be filling in and where I want to keep some stuff. Okay, we have two faces that you can't see because Lola is covering the eye. Okay. There we go, we have two faces. I finished the front pieces for the most part. I'll still have to go back over with zigzag stitches on all the raw edges, but I'm gonna do that once I've patchworked everything. So now I'm going to do the back. And for the back, I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna mix both color schemes. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna start cutting out some pieces and so I'm done.
Okay, I finished patchworking the back, so now I'm going to do the sleeves and the collar. And for the sleeves, I'm gonna try to do them similar to the colors that I did on each side, so like the side that they're closest to, and then just like overlap a few other colors, so like tie the whole thing together. And then also for the collar, I probably won't do any of the, or yeah, I probably won't really do any of the filler colors. Like, like for example, the whites and the creams and stuff. Um, I probably won't really do those because the collar isn't that big, so I don't think I'm gonna really need that much. I mean, I'll like just start doing it and seeing, but I don't think I'll really need that much. So yeah, I'm gonna get ready and do those, and then I'm going to do zigzag stitches over all of the raw seams afterwards just to make it look a little bit neater. Okay, I have all the pieces patched work, patch worked. <laughs> So now what I'm going to do is go over all of the raw edges with a thin zigzag stitch just to make it look a little neater. Just for reference, this is the one that I just did. I'm just using a regular zigzag stitch, I didn't change the settings. And this is one that I didn't do, and I don't know, I just, I feel like it looks a little bit neater. I don't know if you can really tell, but like how these edges are flapping and how like now it's all laid down. So even though it's a lot to do it for, I'm gonna do it. Okay, it's all like a mess and a pile because I'm finally done with all of the patchwork and doing all of the zigzag stitch around them to finish it. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna um, clean up the rough edges because some of the fabric goes over like the actual pattern pieces cut any extra strands of thread that I missed and then I'm gonna sew the lining for the body pieces and then I'm gonna sew the sleeve and the lining piece for the sleeve separately and sew the collar together. I wanted to see what it looked like really quickly before I sewed the lining together and I feel like it looks pretty cool so far like the two faces so yeah. Okay, I connected all the lining pieces, so I'm going to serge some of the seams. So this is the back piece. I'm only going to serge the bottom, and I'm going to serge the bottom for the bottom of the front pieces as well, because the sides, I will connect them, and then I will serge afterwards, likely, so I don't think I need to do that serging twice. And then for the front pieces, for the face sides, I'm going to use zigzag stitches, because I think it just would be kind of hard to... <laughs> try to serge neatly around that so I'm just gonna do zigzag stitches there and then I will flip everything inside out and then connect the arm pieces because the arms aren't connected yet and sew everything together. Okay, I'm about to attach the front to the back, but I'm going to attach the pocket first. So the pockets are sewn with like the raw edge facing towards the back. And then when I put this right sides together, I'll sew and I will sew, fold the pocket in half and sew. So it's in between. Also, full transparency, something is kind of not lining up right and I don't know how it's gonna go until I'm done. Maybe not until I'm done, but like, I just, I don't really know what I'm gonna do with it right now. So for the lining, I got, it stretches this way, but it's not four-way stretch, and so I think because of that, it doesn't really line up with the actual pieces that well, as you can see here and there. That one's not as bad, it's just because it's like folded a little bit, so I don't really know how it's gonna play out, if I'm gonna need to do like a basting stitch just to make sure it stays in place, but I will figure that out later. Okay, I just had an idea and I am not why well, might so soon, but I also have to like log on for work soon. So I was thinking about the lining and I think <laughs> if it doesn't line up, um, but maybe I will stitch from the back with black thread. I'll stitch it down and I can just make sure that I hit the base fabric, but not the like patchwork because I was thinking about like, I don't want to just have like random thread lines. Um, and then I was like, maybe I could try doing that so it stays 
because then I was also thinking, well, maybe I could just um, do some seams where the edges of the patchwork were. But then I'm like, if that's not on the top, then like, <laughs> then it might look weird and it might hang down some. So I might do that. I just wanted to share that before I forget <laughs> now. And if I do that, I will show that later also. Um, I sewed the front pieces to the back, but the fabric altogether is really thick, so I just did a zigzag stitch to end it because my sewing machine was having a little bit of trouble because I was too scared to try to serge it because I just felt like it might be too thick and it might mess up. And I put in a lot of time and work into this that I didn't want to mess it up. So I just did zigzag stitches. So now I'm going to connect the sleeves and then connect the collar. Okay, I have the first sleeve pinned down and this little area is open because it connects to the collar and I just connected the lining where I can so like right here I think it's the only place where it's not really attached for right now so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and sew this together and then sew the other sleeve. Okay, I added the sleeves and the collar and I serged those and let me say, it was hard. I might include a clip of me actually sewing because the sewing it was also hard because there's so much fabric and yeah, I'm kind of glad to be done for the most part. The things I'm gonna do, so the collar doesn't go all the way to the edges, so I'm gonna fold both of those edges down some because I extended the faces and I didn't really think to um, extend the collar. And then I'm going to top stitch because like some of the like lips and stuff keep turning inwards and unfortunately for me, I'm going to top stitch in the corresponding colors. I am kind of over this, like I really want to be done because I have been working on this for a while, but I want to do it right. So yeah. Also for the lining, I said I what I would do. So I actually didn't need to do anything. The lining, the piece that was the worst is on this side, like the lining goes to like there. But since I'm gonna fold down the purple anyways, it'll stitch to the lining and almost all the rest of the lining is held up. Some pieces aren't, but enough of it is in a seam that it holds the whole lining up and it's not a problem. One other thing that I will point out, the right sleeve one, I stitched something wrong, but I don't really know where or how. And so it kind of gets twisted when I put it on and that doesn't happen with that one. And I didn't fix it because I would have had to have taken it off. It was after I sewed it on, but it, I don't think it was just like a take it off and re-sew it. I think it's where like I attached at the wrist and I'd already surged that. So I was like, I don't really want to have to take it off, undo that surge, like cut off and lose that. And then blaze it on the counter <laughs> um, and then have to do the same for the other side. So. Those are some of the things. I'm gonna finish it up and then I'm gonna add snaps. I don't exactly know where I will add the snaps. Probably one on the top of the pink lip. Also, the snaps will be seen on this side, but they'll be done on the lining on the blue side. So I want the blue side to be overlapping. So probably one on the lip, probably one on the nose and one on the forehead. I'm going to do, you hear Blaze because she's hungry. I'm gonna either do black or silver. I don't know which one yet. I bought both. <laughs> um, I feel like, I think I'm leaning towards silver because I think it's not going to be as standout-ish as the black, but I don't know. And last thing, the snaps that I bought are the sew-on snaps that I used in my, I think my last video when I made the fur coat. So yeah, and I think that is about all. Okay, I'm about to film, but I just have to show how Lola's sit, like literally sleeping at the top of the jacket. But unfortunately, I have to move her.
Thanks for watching. I really hope you liked the video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on my social medias. I really like how this turned out. I will say something I would have done differently is I would have shortened the pattern. I didn't really think about it until after I'd cut all the pattern pieces, but I think it would have taken um, a little bit less time. It would have been easier in some ways, but I did want a jacket that could be wearable in the winter, and I think it being full length is great for that, and it is also pretty thick, so I do like how it turned out. I am glad that I had a chance to use some of my fabric scraps and reduce that stockpile by a little bit, but yeah, I will see y'all next time. Bye guys! Mm -hmm.